ba, 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 ba. Hello everyone. How's it going? It is day two. <laughs> and I'm excited for this one. Very excited. So, funny little announcement. Um, I didn't get a chance to write the schedule for the other streams. But I know when they're going to start. Because they're both on Sunday. So, for Bird Lore, it's going to be 12 um, Pacific Time. And then around 5 will be the big lore moment of the server. So, that's all fun. But at the moment, we got a little bit of something in our hands. So, we're going to go right into the recap. So, last time on Caretaker SMP, Lysandra went to go see her brother, Nero, to see how, how they're doing. And, I, I, and like a good sister, she listened, she waited, she talked, and Nero decided to come to the end lab, not the end lab, the nether lab, to see what it, what she meant by a magic, like, explosion. And she got a title, a name for her magic, arcane magic. And that this has happened before. Everything she's experiencing has happened before. And there's no one that she can lean on to help her as herself did not share anything about her experience. And this is ending up sharing her experience by seeing the one person she's been dreading. So we're going to head right into lore. Okay, so I have not slept ever since my brother came to visit. I've been doing a lot of thinking and probably the Mesa will probably be a good idea. After all, I did tell Ethereal that this could happen. Hello, Enderman. Oh boy. I made the men angry. Sir, how did you even get stuck in here? There's no way of me getting you out. Okay. Okay. So, nothing's changed out there since then. And that's good. But Nero said, at least there's not, at least I did it brain in and end city. So, at least there's a bright side to this. But trying to figure out how to explain this to Scurry is going to be the fun time. Because I could say, I'm sorry this happened. I don't know what's happening. Which, now I do know a little bit of what's happening. Like, how do you even say sorry to a god? 
especially the one that likes arson. Uh, it, like, I warned him. I warned that I warned him and Ethereal that this is gonna happen, and it ended up being bigger than I expected. But you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna farm our frustrations away. Maybe me doing going into an isolated part may be a good idea. Because apparently, we don't know if there is a trigger to this, to this arcane magic. We don't know. How much? Okay, we almost got a full chest of this stuff. What happened? Yesterday. What do you oh, mean that that no. wasn't here yesterday? It's an entity. They're not supposed to be here. Uh, How did. What? I. <laughs> Is this a good time to say I did warn you and told you so that this could happen? <sighs> yeah, I know you warned me. Like I said, that city was not there yesterday. My brother was here and literally said, well, at least there wasn't an end city. Oh, he just had to jinx it, did he? Uh, um. I'm sorry? Why does that look like a banner? What? Banner. They're different. What are... i never seen a banner like that. Have you seen a banner like that? Mm. What? No, not really. Right. Huh. Well, you can... If you want to come into the oh. into the nether lab and um, not see in, you can. I can block stuff up. No, no, it's it's okay. Um, okay, at least you're, you know you're handling it better than Chasm did. Looking on the bright side, at least it's not overworld. Yeah. Um, funny I'm enough, okay that's. With this. Um, Chasm had to deal with the overworld in the end, so... Yeah, I heard. Okay. I heard. I heard a lot about that. Um... But you know what? You know what? This is- this is fine. I- I'm fine with this. Um... Okay. It- it fits in quite well. Um... I do have to say, the purple does go with the blue. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, uh, anything else major around here that's changed? Um, I mean, there is the harvester stuff that no one doesn't believe yeah, it's harvester. The, the harvester that's not harvester, the one that's parading is harvester. Yeah, I, I heard. Yeah, have that. you seen the portal that's over here? No, I haven't. Where's the portal? Okay, so funny about this is that Caretaker came here, um, he fenced it off, but the fence is gone? Alright, let me see. Um, is that, this definitely looks like Harvester. It's got the deep play, the skull, the skull in her. Yeah. Um, the only issue with that is, this happened after Harvester ended up in the school, right? 
So this yes. place has been harvester. Yes, which is um, why I came to the school in the first place to ask how is he sending a book from the school to where not. the <laughs> end lab and to where my nether lab is because he doesn't know I built this when he was in the school. Like yeah, when he was gonna um, come out, I was going to invite my plan is to invite him over here. And um yeah, yeah no this this start happening like a good few days after I after the end after I moved in. Probably a whole day, actually. There is a way up. Um. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure who's pretending to be Harvester, but it's obviously not Harvester considering Harvester's Google. Yeah. Um, I don't know what. Caretaker would gain from doing that, and also I got caretaker. When caretaker came here, he was very confused. He did not like any of this. He did not understand what was happening. Because the last time he knew, Harvester was at the school as well. So it must, it's not him, because he was the one that blocked off that portal in the first place. Oh. And Harvester has been talking to me from that book, and he and there has not been a reply. Which it used to be constant um, back to back, but are you signing your name in the book? Is this what I'm reading? Um. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, no, okay. I used your your translation book to figure out how to sign my name in that language. I'm glad of oh, you. Hey, um, yeah. um. Yeah. We're gonna put this in here. Oh, Where um. Weird. I also got something that uh, asked about. Uh, give it you. It says to give it to you your oh. copies of it. Um, hopefully that's enough. <laughs> yeah, that should be enough. Um, yeah, I know the teacher is kind of out for ethereal right now. And uh, I, that, that doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, they want me to change all of my ethereal banners to their banners because apparently I'm not the official overworld prophet because I didn't give consent. Yeah, I know, that's a big thing. Um, yeah, yeah no, we can't just go join your hours. I even, like, I even asked the mom consent. Yeah. Yeah, I was no. just given a box with a bunch of saplings and banners and say, Oh, you're my prophet now. Congratulations. Be a devoted yeah. prophet. And I'm just like, hello? What? Yeah, no, that's not... Ethereal is so used to people just say yes that he just has forgotten that over the time has just forgotten he has to ask. And you can't just tell. Yeah. I, I don't know. Has he had a prophet before? I think we all have. At least one point. You know, that was a stupid question. I am so sorry. No, you're good. <sighs> I'm so stressed out. Uh, yeah, that just surprised me. Yeah. Um, it, it's bad enough that my own brother came here and actually told me that this is arcane magic and no oh. one is not going to be able to help me but myself. Yeah, no. So, this book from the school is not going to be helpful either. But now, I mean, 
So I'm not going to help you um, understand it more. It's just uh, no one can help you control it, probably. It's going to be a lot of, uh, but since it's a, you're the first one with it, I guess, uh, you're going to have to figure it out. Yeah, I'm dealing with the void, so talking to me. Apparently, oh, yeah. Um, the void can talk to me um, in the nether as well. <laughs> yeah. There's no escaping well, that. Well, explains, that explains the void in the end tower. Excuse me, what? Yeah, on the top of the tower, when I flip to grab the banner, uh, there's a void inside there. Oh, you're probably gonna have to see something then. What? Come with me where it kind of begins. Um, so I saw this yesterday. Um, the void is starting to take over the lava. Oh. I didn't know oh. what that was, but, um... Oh, that's not good. Uh... uh um, I don't know how to stop this. I really don't know. I don't... I don't even want this type of thing. I don't know how... Uh, well, uh, I'll figure out a way to contain that. It's fine. Um... Yeah, no, we don't really have to deal with the void here, usually. There are, um, two bedrock walls on, on, on both of the up and the down. So, yeah, uh, that's a new problem. I'll figure out how to contain it. Uh, probably isolating myself to figure out the triggers might be the best thing. Um... It could be helpful. Uh, I don't really know much about it in a few things, so... Sorry, I can't be of more help. You're good. I'm starting to get numb to a bad type of response. I'm just scared. Um, yeah, this is just, uh... Out of my skill set, I guess, is the best way to describe that. Uh, I wish there was someone that knew a little bit, like, how to, like, stop the void or something. Something knowledgeable about the void, but I tell that's, that's a thing. Uh, I don't know. Um... Well, the more you use the powers, the more in control you be, so... I guess just, like, find a place, uh, away from, like, people, in a way, to, um, uh, you can, like, practice and, uh, figure out all the types of stuff. That'd probably be the best course of action. I mean, my brother said something about... I could try this stuff in the Mesa that it's a little bit near him, but a little bit away from other people. Yeah, Mesas are good because they tend to be uh, barren and um, well, not many people live there. I'm starting to think Just Harvester bringing me in here was a bad idea from because if I wasn't here you, none of you guys will be dealing with this I mean it's okay I we're <laughs> um honestly um, stuff happens. That's kind of like, I guess. I know. It's... It doesn't have to make sense. It just.
this makes me feel bad that you guys have to deal with this and don't know what type of direction to help me, you know? Yeah, I get that, but also it's fine. situation I guess at least the bright side at least you took this better than chasm that's the one yeah. thing I was worried about is uh, me oh. having to make seating room for you to sit down and take it all in but apparently nope you got to stand on your two feet so that's good uh, yeah, no, if it hadn't been, like, overworld, it would have been a different story. Honestly, I don't think that the overworld can survive in the nether. I don't know, I kind of... With some exception... Uh, well, yeah, some of it doesn't, but some of it does, depending on where it is. Um, work for us are some of the colder of the other um, biomes, but still pretty really? hot. But it's hot to me. Like overworld. Well, yeah, but you're also from the overworld, so it's not like cold, but it's cooler than the other biomes. did not see that in the city. Oh, it is kind of blocked by trees, so... But unless you're, like, looking at it, you're not gonna really notice it. Okay, it went... Well, where a ladder's supposed to be is a twisted vine. With netherrack, so... You cannot even no, access um, the top if you wanted to. I'm at, I'm at the top, and yeah, it, it's still. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be dumb to fly up there and almost kill myself, so I'm not doing that. Fair enough. But I'm gonna trust that you said there is the void up there. Yeah. Hmm. Don't know how I like that. I mean, how close is... Is there any way for you to see the void from the nether? Um... I mean, if I break through... But yeah, but... I mean, I'm on the ceiling, it's not really, like, void void, but it is a void, of course. I can have bullets off the ceiling. Hmm. Um, my best guess is, yeah, but a lot of the times there's a bunch of lava in the way before going down. I'm starting to feel like the more questions I get, the less answers I get. Yeah, that's just how it works sometimes. Yeah. in anyone's story because of 
this magic. Well, you haven't hurt anybody yet. Even if you did, it would be an accident. No one would really take over it. Listen, yes. <laughs> intention is everything. Sure, like, it's an accident, so let's still be upset, but if it's an accident, you're not a monster. I'm just terrified and scared. You're fine. if it can happen this then I don't know what will happen with the overworld it could be worse it could be it could, it could be the nether come to the overworld and I that would be great I would love to see Ethereal's reaction to that that would be fantastic Apparently, you and Harvester are really gunning for that for some reason. Listen, Ethereal being upset is like the best thing anymore. You know, I would say I want to try to understand Ethereal, but. I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Yeah. Mm. Guess I have to go see that Mesa out and see what I can do to control this. Yeah. If there's a trigger, I would like to know. What if there is no trigger? And then, uh, um, I'm gonna have to isolate myself to where I don't go near people. Because if this is happening in realms, this can happen to any to anyone's area. So I'm probably. I'm probably not going to be able to live in Spring Mist. That's, That's fair point. kind of where I'm at. If there's no trigger, I have to live somewhere else and I don't know where to live. I don't know where to go. being this because there could be more in cities coming in if I if I sit here long enough and if I and if I stay in the actual end more overworld will come and I think Asim will literally faint if that happens I 
think I'm no longer welcome to Banks, even though it's out of my control. No. No. It's not fun to feel bad about this. It, like you said, it's out of your control. You're trying to understand it so they control it. So I don't see a huge deal. Sorry, I, I zoned out. What? Uh, oh, oh, uh, I said you're trying to control it, so I wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of hope that Harvester can help me a lot, a lot about it. I hope. He's probably the only one I haven't came to to try to help out about this. God, I need it. I Harvester needs to get to get out of there. Not for my sake, but for my own brother's sake. Oh, I'm so so many things are happening at once. That's fair. I'm just trying to think what to do. Well, it sounds like you have a lot on your plate because you're dealing with this and your brother and the serial. Doing stuff, huh? it, it's never a dull moment, and I kind of wish I lived a boring, normal life. Kind of. I just want to be normal. I love, yeah. I love the Nether. Like I love coming here. It, it's a nice pastime for me to do research and see new stuff. Now I just feel like. I'm now blocking veins here now. Uh, Could be uh, more of a worry. Uh, you listen, if you weren't worrying about it, then that would be worrisome. You're always worrying about something. <sighs> I never heard anyone have this type of power. That that's what's terrifying me the most. Um. There's a first for everything. There's always has to be a first. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to tell Kaz if there's an actual whole end city in here. Right? Yeah. I would. Mm. I would tell him. Mind lending me a written book? <laughs> Oh, that's up to you. The way you tell him is entirely up to you. Oh, oh sorry. Well, time 
to see if I have things to make a book and maybe try to get him to actually I could just use one of these empty books that's fine I also have the book you oh. know uh, yeah I might need a book <laughs> thank you I didn't need to tell them about the boy talking to me because he wants to be updated with that. Don't think he's going to. Yeah. yeah, this is a great way to update chasm on things. with void and a new banner um avoid talk to a friend on first night Love with that, I guess. Well, at well, least all of you gods that keep saying that you guys are bored. Um, well, at least I'm giving you guys some entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if it's good entertainment or not, but you know. I mean, entertainment is entertainment, so. I like how there's just a car function here. Oh, my son gave me that when I. That's what I <laughs> yeah. I visit um, them when the first time, and they gave me a car pumpkin. And I just put it there so when I walked out, I can always see it. I'm glad it's, it it stayed there when the when the end came. Kind of happened. Same. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm sorry to get a headache. That's fair. I'm just saying how far it travels. Um, it travels all the way to the opening of... Yep. It's... The stop about here. I love how the, the Endermen are trying to... <laughs> they're trying their best. I will say they're trying their hardest to make it blue mm. again. They're like, I like this place. I don't know. <laughs> the, Ender <laughs> the Endermen are having non flashbacks trying to cover up the episode. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying their best. Yeah, they're trying. I actually like all the warp trees around the, the lab. Now it's Some just... of them stayed. Huh? Some of them stayed. Yeah, That's some of them. One. Oh, yeah. These, what, I think these were made by the harvester thing. These showed uh, up so at the same time as, yeah. as this shrine, so... Yeah, judging that there's a dripstone, probably. Dripstone usually shows up when 
harvester. Yeah. Drawing a pen from a sword is the best way to do it. Then that's kind of weird for them to be like, hey, have a garden and have dripstone. Well, if they're having a they dripstone. Probably, they probably use it as like a gift as well, but a lot of times dripstone will appear if they're having an issue. I didn't but, even know dripstone was part of part of them until they until what they did with at the Elases, um call. Yeah. But who knows? Um I don't know what much more information I can give you or what I could help you with um, uh, other than standing in a, pr a big problem <laughs> physically um, well it's fine like I said it's not the open world so Now it makes me question if I stayed in in the end, will the nether show up or will it just uh, be the overworld? I have no idea. I kind of don't want to test it. I don't want I to. <laughs> no, I, I almost gave him a heart attack the last yeah, time. Yeah, please. Test this for so much. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor chasm. Um. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> I just don't know what to do now. Well, there's not much you can do. Uh, like you mentioned, wanting to test things out would probably be bad. I'm thinking about testing what will happen if I let all my anger and frustrations out in the Mesa and see what. what that can do. Yeah, because the stuff started happening and you start getting super stressed out. So well, it could have something to do with that. Maybe um, this kind of happened when I was looking at my brother's axe. And it ended up being I more of an explosion. What? High emotion. Because didn't the uh, overworld in the end happen shortly after your fight with your brother? You almost died? No, actually. No. Um, I want, he, I came to him asking, like, do, would you have any recommendations of me looking into magic? And he gave me his axe to study it and apparently i locked into the axe's trauma that my brother went through and then this happened here yeah i'm talking about the, the overworld in, in the end when did oh, that happen yeah um that kind of happened after i almost died and i was yeah, kind of pissed out of ethereal for not being the yeah, one to... that was high emotion there. Yeah. This was high emotion through your brother's axe. 
So maybe it is an emotion thing. Looks like I'm gonna have to build a house in the mesa, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, at least you will know where I'm gonna be at. It's a little bit. It's in the mesa near my brother, so if you wanna check by at some point, you can. That's up to you. Yeah. But, um... <sighs> Looks like my nether research is gonna be put on hold for the fifth time. Can I just research the nether in peace? Uh, apparently not. Mm. Another was my calm vacation realm. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the Mesa and pout. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, since my brother's gonna be taking over the jungle. Yeah. Yeah, he can't move out of area without Skulk because Harvester is not around to keep him up, so he has to yeah. destroy things in order for him to walk freely. I mean, I guess that's fair. Yeah, so rip that jungle, I guess. But yeah, I don't want to take too much of your time. You you already have a lot of... I'm sorry, is that obsidian up there as well? Uh, is that obsidian supposed to represent a shulker? I don't know. Obsidian can mean a bunch of different things, but yeah, there's a obsidian up here. And there's a soul lantern hanging from the obsidian. Mmm, okay. Okay. It's just a single block of obsidian, though. Okay. Okay, we're taking the banner, we're taking the axe, we're taking this book. Yep. I'm going into the end. I, I'm not the end. I'm going to the overworld. I no 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 no. Don't want to think about it. Nope. Um, if you have things you you need to do, you can go ahead. Um, I don't yeah. want to waste your time. I do have to get going. Uh, you aren't wasting my time. This I needed to see this. Yeah. Uh, you know where to leave notes if you need me. Yeah. I was thinking about putting the letter at your house, but I thought that was stepping over boundaries, so I went into the the um, spawn, thinking that was going to be a faster way to get a hold of you. Yeah, it usually is. Got it. Um. Oh. Hmm? No, you go ahead. I'm just. Oh. I'm just everywhere. Stress. That's fair. Well, uh, goodbye, Lissandra. Goodbye. What? Oh. I clicked spectator mode and it put me in survival. Hello? Damn. Get wrecked. Okay. Yeah, no, we're going.
We're going to that Mesa. I... Mm -mm. I need to figure something out. I... I just don't want to be a repeat of what my version did. I don't want to kill people. I, I don't... I don't want to affect everything. I don't want to be the problem. It's fine. We are going to go... We're going to calm down a little bit. We're just going to stay away from anything research for a while. That's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to stay away. Definitely not stay here. Those sounds ain't good. Okay. So what we're gonna need. We're gonna need wood. We're gonna need glass. We're gonna... I don't wanna bring anything pretty over there. Probably built with terracotta. We could probably see what's around there and try to figure something out. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And that is the end of lore. Um, I will be working. This is an introduction to me going into the Mesa. So the next time you guys will see Lysandra will be in the Mesa. Um, along with what's going to be happening on Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed lore. I see a lot of, um, I see someone bringing up Frozen references. This is not a Frozen moment. <laughs> But I guess it's a different type of frozen moment. It's kind of more of a fire like. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But, um. I hope you guys have a nice day. Booping all you guys on the schnoots. And I'll see you guys Sunday. Remember, Bird Stream is at 12 um, Pacific Time, and at 5 is going to be a big lore, lore stream. It's going to be a fun time. And anyways, goodbye!